Hello everybody. Today's video is sponsored by the wonderful Verve. If you haven't heard of Verve yet, it's made by the same people over at Crunchyroll. And Verve is the one stop for 12 amazing channels of content. You can go to verve.co slash gb to get your 30 day free trial of Verve Premium. And that gets you some super awesome perks like offline viewing, which is one of my favorite perks because you get to sync shows to watch um, when you're offline, which I'm going to go do tonight because I have a flight tomorrow and I need to catch up on all my anime. But um, this month's video is actually inspired by one of their new channels, Boomerang, which has all of the shows that I used to watch as a kid, so like Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and um, of course Scooby-Doo. So they have all 12 like renditions of Scooby-Doo, I believe. And I was just watching the 11th, and it's called um, Mystery Incorporated. And the girl who actually voices Daphne is the same voice as Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. And it's hysterical. I have not watched it in too long, but I had a really good time. The sheriff is voiced by Kronk. Fred is the original Fred voice actor, and I don't know, it's just a really good time. Uh, I'm rambling, but if you would like to check out your free trial, you can watch Verve on your Xbox, your PlayStation 4, iOS, Android, your desktop. You can go to verve.co slash gb g i b i for your free 30-day trial of verve premium so thank you so much for sponsoring this video and i hope you enjoy well 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 look what we have here somebody got caught in one of fred's traps do you know fred tall, blonde, dreamy eyes. Really out of my league. You don't know him? Oh, darn. Well, he's the one who built this. He's very smart, and he's very good at what he does. Oh, well, we solve mysteries. My name is Daphne. Nice to meet you. Oops. Shake. Well, Fred and Velma and Shaggy and Scooby, they should all be here soon, I hope. Yeah, you know, we all like to split up and save a lot of time when we're looking for murderers on our own. Yeah. So I decided to come here. Um, usually Fred's traps do really well, so... Tonight was no different, and not that I'm accusing you of anything yet, but it is a little bit suspicious that you were wandering around here at night. So before I let you go, I'm gonna have to ask you a couple questions. Yeah, yeah. Sit tight. Let me grab my purse. Cute, right? Thank you. I have some really good stuff in here. But first things first, let's make sure that we can get any um, necessary information. Uh, alibis, you know, confessions, whatever. Let's start with question number one. Where were you tonight at this time? It's mm. not a very good alibi. And where might you have happened to be yesterday around 5 o'clock p.m.? 
Am I supposed to believe you or not? Well, in any case, three people went, miss went missing yesterday, and uh, we don't know where they went. So, do you know anyone by the name of Alice? Mm -hmm. What about Marty? Phoebe? I don't know. I they're missing, so I I have no idea what they look like. A picture. That's smart. Do you have a picture of them? Oh, darn. Okay. Well, um what do you like to do in your free time? Suspicious. If you were to kidnap say three people. Where would you hide them? Mm -hmm. um, what is the, um, what is the capital of Norway? Oh yeah, well, I am a student, so I have homework due tomorrow, and oh, this geography is really hard. Do you know? Oh, well. It was worth a shot. You don't seem to have too much information. So, I'm not sure if that's the truth or not. What I'm going to do is I am going to get out my homemade lie detector test. Okay. Okay, we're going to need to have a few questions to get your base reaction, you know, some easy ones, but uh, the slide detector test, ready to crank up the heat, really get some information out of you. So, am I a redhead? Are you in a trap right now? Am I pretty? Oh my god, stop. <laughs> okay, so now for the real questions. What is your name? How old are you? Is this your real hair color? Hmm, really brings out your eyes. Yeah. Um, who told you that it was okay to match that shirt with those pants? Yeah, they are not your friend, honey. They are not your friend. Okay. Have you ever regifted? Something that they got you for your birthday. <gasps> liar, liar, liar. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Have you ever murdered anyone? Where were you yesterday? Where were you really? Hmm. Do you know Alice? Do you know Marty? Do you know Phoebe? How many square miles is Norway? I'm sorry, I really have to finish this assignment. Hey, Daph. 
Have you seen the other half of my sandwich? Um, I'm a little, I'm a little busy, Shaggy, at the moment. If like zoinks, who's this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, like, let me know if I can be any help, man. Actually, you could be a lot of help if you just come over here. Shaggy, right, right, Ruby Rex. Like Scooby Snacks, my favorite. Okay. Where were we? Okay. Well, I have four sisters. Daisy, Dawn, Dorothy, Delilah. And they're all wildly successful, and I love them very much. But, I want to be successful like them. And my parents, they won't take me seriously until I get a couple more cases under my belt. Because I really do want to be a detective. So, would you help me out? Be very thorough. You're a suspect after all. You're in a trap. You're a suspect. Why else would you be sniffing around here? Okay. I'm gonna have to get some DNA samples. Give them to Velma so she can run them. By being in this trap, you fully consent to all DNA testing, questioning, uh, etc. Yeah. It's actually written. It's small print. Right there. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to get... A little bit of your sweater. That way we can collect the fibers and if we see any more lying around any sort of crime scene, we'll know that they're from you. So I'm just gonna reach in there. Sit still. We can reimburse you or something. Oh. Okay. Thank you very much. Next. I'm going to need to just take a little cheek swab and all you need to do here And let's just collect a little hair for extra safety. Okay. Out there. All right. Well, that should be enough samples for Velma. She'll decide when she gets here if she wants any more. I try to be as thorough as I can. You know, they say that she's the smart one, but I really think that I don't know. I don't get the recognition that I deserve. So I'm actually quite 
quite happy that I stumbled upon you. You really made my day. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's next. What I really want to do is just get a little bit of a closer inspection on your face. Um, you know, attributes like your eye color, hair color, your height, weight, what you're wearing. Sort of thing so that I can accurately report you to the police. I'm gonna get a little close and take a look and take some notes, of course. Hmm. Fruity. Okay. Go first. Her color. You are wearing. Okay. Mm hmm. That is right there. With what type of shoes? Let me see. Okay. Mm hmm. And can I see your hands, please? Mm hmm. Flip them over. Okay, just like that. Ooh, nice life on. Okay. Thank you very much. As well as any sort of definitive facial features you might have. Any tattoos? Take a look and see. What about your height and your weight? Let me guess. No, I won't guess, but you can tell me. Wow. I'll put that away. But I am going to get out just my little handy dandy. So handy dandy if I can't find it. Ah, here we go. More sample gathering tools and voila. Little finger light. mini jumbo light. There we go. Okay. So your eye color is and if I were to brush away gonna add a couple of more samples to hair jar. Oh, I'm doing you a favor. I am doing you a favor. Mm-hmm.
believe that I have everything that I need and I oh look who's coming the sheriff what's going uh, on here Daphne dear god are you okay I'm fine I wasn't talking to you say? are those my handcuffs no yes return them to me this instant <sighs> come here You kids and your meddling. Now, I'm sure this person here is very innocent. Wait a minute. That face. What about it? Do you think it's a mask? Oh my. Just let me. Oh, it's on really tight. Oh. Daphne, uh. Oh, I don't think that's a. That's not a mask. <gasps> It's just their face. Well, I will let you handle it from here. Um, again, Daphne, if you ever need to hire me for any sort of mysteries, you know where to find me. Look for the picture.